Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m to the power of 4 plus m square plus 1 equals 0 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here you see one thing is that uh, the highest power of m is 4, it means that this equation has 4 roots or 4 solutions so that uh, now we find all the 4 roots or 4 solutions of this equation. So here uh, the very first step we are going to do is um, here first we rewrite this equation as this is m to the power of 4 and we write it as m square and its whole square plus here we write this plus 1 uh, and we move this plus m square uh, to this side okay and this is equals to 0 and uh, now in the next step here uh, we write this uh, 1 as uh, 1 square and it is written as m square whole square plus 1 square plus uh, m square equals to 0. So here we need uh, uh, the nice square identity and uh, you know about this square identity if we have uh, a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b okay so here we need uh, this nice square identity to solve the above equation uh, so that here first we uh, uh, complete the square of this equation and now you focus here this is our uh, m square is our a so it will becomes a square and this is our b so here we have mm, we need the one term and it is two times of a b so if our a is m square and b is one so our two a b becomes uh, two into m square into one so now we uh, add uh, in above equation uh, add and subtract in above equation by 2 into m square into 1 okay when we add and subtract this term to the above equation uh, so that our above equation is written as in this form m square whole square plus 1 square plus 2 times of m square into 1 minus 2 times of m square into 1 and this is our plus m square and this whole equation equals to 0 okay so here uh, if you focus on the first three terms uh, and you compare these three terms on the right hand side of this equation then you get here a square plus b square plus 2ab so when we combine all these terms so it is written as m square plus 1 whole square and here you have minus 2m square and minus 2m square plus m square becomes minus m square equals to 0 okay so after this step here we need another square identity and we know about this identity if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we use this nice formula to solve the above equation so after applying this formula our above equation is written as m square plus 1 plus m into m square plus 1 minus m equals to 0 so now in order to find the fourth root of the given equation here we need to convert this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take the first term equals to 0 it is m square plus m plus 1 equals to 0 and our second case is we take this equation equals to 0 m square minus m plus 1 equals to 0 here we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. And now you see here uh, both of these equations are quadratic equation and now we can solve uh, these two equations easily by using the quadratic formula. So here first we focus on equation number 1 so that from equation number 1 uh, we write it as m square plus m plus 1 equals 0. So here we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 1 and c equals to 1 and we know about the quadratic formula it is stated as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of 
b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c here and it is written as minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 1 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is also 1 and now in the next step here we need more simplifications and we write it as m equals minus 1 plus minus so 1 square becomes 1 and 1 minus 4 equals to minus square root of 3 divided by 2 and uh, uh, we write this expression as m equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 into iota. We know that when um, negative sign becomes inside the square root, it will become iota. So these are the two roots of the given equation. And these both roots are complex roots. And now uh, we need to find the other two roots of the given equation so that... Uh, uh, here we need equation number 2. So from equation number 2, here we copy down this equation. It is m square minus m plus 1 equals 0. So here we again apply the quadratic formula on this equation. And first we have the coefficients is a equals to 1, b equals minus 1, c equals plus 1. Okay, so uh, here we again write the quadratic formula. It is m equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. Okay, so this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a, b and c in this formula and it is written as first you have minus b it is minus 1 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 1 and it is divided by 2 times of a and our a is also 1. So we have m is equals to 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4 divided by 2 and here we need more simplification and it is written as 1 plus minus square root of minus 3 divided by 2 and again we have a negative sign becomes inside the square root so we convert it into the iota it is written as 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 so these are the other two roots of the given equation so finally we have the four roots of the given equation are the first root is minus 1 plus square root of 3 iota divided by 2 the second root is m2 equals minus 1 minus square root of 3 iota divided by 2. And the third root is m3 equals 1 plus square root of 3 iota divided by 2. And m4 equals minus 1 minus square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the four roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.